Yes, so today we're doing uh, a Q&A session on uh, parent development, uh, uh, primarily for the club and for parents within the club, uh, for DC 11. And I think this is a good opportunity. You know, a lot of times we, we have one-off discussions uh, with individual parents, um, and usually those questions and concerns are shared amongst the you know, the, the parenting body. And, and since a lot of those questions uh, come from, you know, a lot of, we, I mean, I have a, we have a lot of discussions with you, Andre, and you speak to a lot of parents as well, multiple teams throughout the club. Uh, I think it's, it's only fitting that you serve as the voice of the parents, you know, asking the questions. I'm going to ask a series of questions that should be asked. Like, what I mean by that is, Sometimes parents speak around the issues and they don't formulate the question that is on everybody's mind or that's on their mind because I think there's a um, sense of, well, I don't want to be the one to say anything negative. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to criticize. I don't want to, you know, um, there is a bit of that, um, which is interesting because I don't see why they should be worried. I mean, this is, you know, you guys are doing it for the stated reasons. And um, one cool thing that I think a lot of parents appreciate, or maybe they don't know, is that some of you have kids in the club and some of you have kids, period, right? Which is a huge um, just differentiator, right? Um, when you're a parent, because, you know, um, parents who are also coaches, um, understand both dynamics you understand our dynamic of uh, just being just parents and you understand the coaching side of it um and it comes across i think you can always tell wh when a coach has kids <laughs> right um it's a good thing i'll start it off with a few um sort of what i would call development category questions so the first question is like you know, you guys are big on the culture of football or soccer, right? So here's the question. And this is a um, formulated parent question, right? Yeah. Is the culture part of all this that important? You know, why is that emphasized so much? The honest truth about this is the fact that we, you know, everyone, all the leadership within the club are from cultures that football is a uh, key ingredient within the culture, right? So similar to the way American football is an ingredient here or, you know, basketball or baseball, et cetera. And what you will find is, uh, you know, you would find an elderly gentleman, someone in the 70s wearing a Cowboys jersey and knows the stats of, you know, who's gonna get drafted or who shouldn't get drafted and who's playing, you know, and is as active in, you know, the cowboy folklore and discussion, et cetera, as if, you know, he was still in high school playing. Right? And so, um, and, you know, with that, it also allows him to be able to, you know, he has a true nuanced understanding of the game and appreciation of the game. It's not just something that he did uh, or it wasn't just an activity that he did. It's a part of his life, you know, identity, et cetera. And so that, for us, that's why culture is important. Football, what we call football, you know, what's called soccer, is not just some, it's not just an activity. You just, you know, you get a ball and you run into the park or wherever it is and you kick the ball. Uh, it's an entire lifestyle. And so, Appreciating the culture, uh, you know, you know, knowing all the greats that or that came before you, uh, who the greats that are currently playing, the you know the differences in you know jerseys and kits, uh, you know which clubs have certain kits for whatever reason, the the lingo, um, the the style, um, you know. All of that is a part of the culture. And, and when that is embedded in you, especially at a younger age, your 
appreciation for the game is bigger than just an activity. For me, that's one of the, you know, one of the, the big things I've noticed here. Um, and it's clear, you know, anywhere else, you know, you go in the world, you would see how infused football is within the culture and how, and so it's, it's not hard for a kid to understand that, oh, this could be a major part of my life. Uh, this could even be, you know, a professional career as a player, as a coach, as a trainer, as, you know, groundskeeper, you know, the entire ecosystem, right? Um, and, and, and so this is understood. And so even the way they approach the game um, from a, as a player or as a fan is different. And I think for us, it's extremely important uh, and beyond, even be, so to add uh, in addition to that is it's just more fun. Like the game is more fun where you embody the culture of the game. You know, like you, you, you would have a celebration as an example. You understand how, why it's important or, you know, like to have a distinctive celebration. Like even now you have, you know, the various celebrations from Holland to Mbappe to, you know, uh to ronaldo etc um and you see how those have like infiltrated the, the football uh culture to, to, to the point where i think it's even infiltrated pop culture um yeah so culture is you know it, and culture is fluid and culture is constantly changing um and we embrace that and we think that really adds to what makes the game uh, more enjoyable and something you can truly be a part of. It's not just when you're, you know, what you hear here a lot is, oh, I used to play soccer when I was in elementary school, <laughs> right? Like, and then that's it. Like, it's like, yeah, I played it when I was, I don't know, seven or eight. Um, and, you know, I think for us, we want, you know, we think it's important. We've been, you know, in the game since we were babies. We're still in the game and we will continue just how, like I mentioned, the elder gentleman that's a Cowboys fan in the seventies. And he's, you know, he's been, he's been that since he was a, a little kid. 